efficient reuse of equipment is a top priority for sustainability. But in its present form, the ROHS directive prevents much efficient reuse and the associated ecological benefits. This causes an unnecessary and avoidable environmental burden by premature disposal of perfectly serviceable, recovered electrical and electronic parts. To make efficient reuse possible, members of the European Parliament are therefore asked to remove the barriers to reuse in the present ROHS Directive by adopting the proposed amendments. The equipment concerned includes a wide range of professional printing systems, for example, producing large volumes of everyday transaction statements at banks and insurance companies, as well as wide format plans and drawings in the worlds of engineering and architecture and colourful posters, billboards and décor for advertising, retail and exhibitions. All these systems are designed and built for a long, productive lifetime. In the professional printing environment, most systems stay under control of the manufacturer by lease or other contractual arrangements with the customers. That means companies like OSE have full control over the equipment during its entire life cycle taking responsibility for proper maintenance and guaranteeing users a fixed all-in cost. When lease contracts expire, equipment is typically returned to the manufacturer under a closed-loop principle. Thanks to their robust design and high build quality, those systems and their components are well suited for reuse and remanufacturing to full new model status for a second or even a third efficient lifetime. This contrasts with consumer electronics products, which, once they're sold, are outside the control of the manufacturer. At end of life of these products, there's no effective method of reuse, and they're disposed of as electrical and electronic waste. However, when professional printing systems are returned to companies like OSE, many of the components of those systems are still as good as new. That means they can be reused, either as spare parts or in new systems. With over 900,000 such systems installed in the EU, around 20% of the components could potentially be reused. That represents a total weight of 14,800 tonnes of equipment. Not only does the current ROHS legislation require these components to be prematurely disposed of, but they also have to be replaced by new components. This in turn means additional use of resources and energy, as well as extra CO2 emissions. In essence, under the current ROHS directive, those components are not allowed to be reused in new equipment. This is because in systems manufactured before 2006, the parts do not comply with the present ROHS requirements. There's no way to remove the substances prohibited under ROHS without destroying the parts. So, even though they're perfectly serviceable, they have to be disposed of prematurely as waste, which creates unnecessary environmental burden and costs. A further effect is that if these non-ROHS compliant parts have to be disposed of, so for economic reasons do the complete systems. This means a further increase in the quantities of materials sent to waste. That can be avoided by reusing these parts and systems. From the environmental point of view, this is an excellent option, and it also makes economic sense. It not only saves the creation of unnecessary waste, but it also greatly reduces the use of resources and energy to produce and transport new parts through the global supply chain. Efficient reuse is a top priority on the ecological ladder, just after prevention. However, ROHS, in its present form, is an obstacle to this principle. The result is an unnecessary and avoidable environmental burden by premature disposal of perfectly serviceable, recovered parts. The proposed efficient reuse of components will help to improve sustainability. The entire process will of course be subject to monitoring and verification by independent third parties to ensure that the highest sustainability standards are observed. The result will be a further increase in the sustainability of products and manufacturing processes, 
and a reduction in the overall environmental impact. For these reasons, we're asking members of the European Parliament to remove the barriers to reuse in the present ROHS directive by adopting the proposed amendments. These amendments will facilitate the reuse of serviceable recovered components in new and remanufactured equipment under controlled and verifiable conditions. Thank you.